All right. Hi, everybody. This is the Math uh, 30-1 Trigonometry 2 review, and this is question 3C. And what we're supposed to do here is identify the restrictions on the variable for these uh, expressions here. Okay, now that typically means for us looking for the denominator being set equal to zero. Okay, but not only that, uh, we've got to remember that that tangent, cotangent, cosecant, and secant all have their own set of non-permissibles as well. And in this particular example here, we do have tangent showing up. Now, what we've got here, let's just take this bit by bit here. First of all, we see that cosine is in the zero. So we know that cosine of x, okay, is not allowed to equal zero. Now, we think about this, where does that happen? Well, okay, zero is one of those ratios, if you think about cosine, it's one of those ratios that we associate with the quadrants, the, quad, the quadrantal angles. So let's just think about the unit circle here, one, zero, zero, one, whoops, close that, negative one, zero, zero, negative one, as we go around the unit circle. Remember, we associate cosine with the x coordinate, so along, around the circle here, where does cosine go to zero? Well, it goes to zero at, at 90 degrees and at 270. So, <coughs> sorry, right away here, we know that if we can't let cosine go to zero, that means we cannot let x be 90 degrees, okay, or 270 degrees, plus n times 360 degrees, where n is an element of the integers. And remember, we use z for the integers uh, as opposed to i, although i is acceptable, the, the correct, the correct uh, symbol here is supposed to be a z. Now, there is another way of writing this. It's a little bit more efficient, but we're going to get to that in, in just a second here. We're going to see what else is, is going on. Now, we've also got tangent here. Now, a couple things going on here. If, if this tangent wasn't to exist right here, there would still be non-permissibles as a result of tangent, because remember, tangent is sine over cosine. So tangent, all on its own, has a cosine in the denominator. Now, the reason why I'm not going to do much with that is because we've already discussed what happens when cosine uh, is in the denominator. It's not allowed to go to zero. That's because of this one. Well, this word right here is just going to, to add another one to that. And so it's not going to change any of these non-permissibles. This is, this is the result of that tangent up there as well. But because the tangent down here is in the denominator, well, now we can't allow tangent to go to zero as well. So tangent of x cannot be allowed to go to zero. And once again, we've talked about this before. This is one of those uh, kind of quadrantal angle ratios here. So let's think as we go around the unit circle, because this is a nice way to memorize all those. Remember, tangent is just sine divided by cosine or y divided by x. So as you go around the circle here, where does it happen that the y coordinate divided by the x coordinate produces a zero. And that's going to be at zero degrees and 180. And so we might write here, x is not allowed to equal zero degrees or 180 degrees plus n times 360 degrees, where n is an element, again, of the integers. Okay, now we have got, okay, restrictions here. Now look what's going on here. We've got an issue here at zero at 90, at 180, and at 270. And then these things are going to repeat here. So really what's going on here is we might summarize this and say, okay, therefore x cannot equal multiples of 90, where n is an element of the integers. And that should now cover everything, okay? It covers 0, 90, 180, 270, and continuing around the circle. So really that is a nice way of summarizing the overall restriction.